Hello and welcome to another Blender tutorial brought to you by Louis Art. My name is Emmanuel Kafo and you guys are welcome once more to this channel. Okay, so what we'll be doing today will be really fun. What we'll be trying to do is basically generate um, generate geometries from textures. So what we have here is basically a black and white image and applied to a cylinder which is already UV wrapped. So for this effect to work perfectly, you have to have a pretty decent UV map. Okay, so this looks pretty nice. Um, so previously or uh, prior prior to the tutorial, I don't think there's a real way of achieving this effect or creating geometry from textures. Um, so if you want to like make this transparent, if you want to have like no faces here, um, the way you could fake that is through using shaders, um, applying some transparency to this. Um, but what we want to do is to create actual geometries from this. So how we're going to do it so the way is kind of straightforward but i'm um, just a bit um tweaking around so let's um delete this material okay and go to the modifier and add a displacement so if we add a displacement and um, we really we really don't have much geometry to play with so we need to add a multi-resolution modifier okay so this is going to give us um ability to add multiple subdivision levels Okay, so now we are all set up. We have enough um, subdivisions to play with. Um, now we can add the displacement and then hit new. Then we'll select the checkout texture. Um, now we'll go to the mapping. Um, the shader view had like um, 30 by 30. So it's let's we're well, trying to match the look of the shader. Okay, so. Um, this is all set. We can now jump back into the modifier for the texture coordinate. We want to set it to UV, okay. And finally, for this mid level, we also want to set it to zero so that we don't have um, we don't really uh, mess up the position of the geometry. So, we want it to stay put. So, as you can see, okay. Um, next for the strain, let's set it to 0.3. Um, you could play around with it, um, but 0.3 is pretty decent. And don't worry, any technique, all the technique applied to the cylinder will work perfectly with any of your model, as long as you have like a very clean UV map, it works. Okay, so for the next step, um, basically we're all set, but uh, my logic be, uh, be behind finding out a solution for this is because, um, is that this looks good, but uh, is there a way to mask out certain areas uh, we don't need? So. Um, the way I solve that is basically I added, I'm going to use dynamic paint to get, um, to extract some certain parts from this model. So let's duplicate this cylinder and we'll just call this brush. Okay. That's not a spell of brush. Brush. Nice. And we can delete all the modifier from this brush model. So we just have it looking like this. And just for display purposes, I'm going to go to the viewport and switch it from texture to bound. So we have it looking like this. Though I have a shortcut already set where I can easily change it. Okay. Um, so let's apply dynam dynamic paints to this whole model. So we'll select the brush, go into this physics tab, select dynamic paints from canvas to brush. Then we'll do add brush, you know, the drill. Then for paint soft um, source, we want to set it to mesh volume plus plus proximity. Okay, and we are all set with the brush. Let's select this model and go to dynamic paint. So this will be our canvas. So we'll leave it at canvas and also hit the add button. For the surface type, we want to switch it from paint to weight. Okay, and finally output. So um, we'll just click on this plus icon. So it's going to create a vertex grip for us. Okay, so everything is basically set up. So let's bring up our timeline. We'll, there's no need for animation. It's just to make sure um, we are in the first frame. Where is that guy? Okay, here. Timeline. So make sure you're in your first frame so that we can run the simulation even without uh, really playing the animation. Okay, so... If we select, if we select this cylinder and go to the modifier stack, um, then we'll add a mask modifier, 
and then we'll select this dynamic paint okay um, for the threshold let's just set it to 0.5 though nothing is gonna happen um, so for something to happen um, there have to be some motion to the cylinder okay so as you can see me moving the cylinder we already have some motion um, but it's not a uniform motion so we want to like some some way somehow create a uniform motion for the brush cylinder so the best way to do this is to use displacement okay um, so displacement by default is going to either um, shrink the geometry or is either going to expand the geometry so we want to get the shrink attribute of this displacement so um, let's isolate it for a bit okay so we have it looking like this so we can set the mid level to zero and if we use click on negative minus one um, so we get like very extreme so let's say minus 0.5 so we get the shrinked version of that so we can apply this as shape key and we are good so let's unhide everything and now if we select this brush and let's make it a bond again okay so still in your first frame so if we select this brush and go into the shape key and displacement we'll just click on the spin icon you can see it's just shrink as it shrinks um, then it can uniformly um, scale it can uniformly mask out the texture so as you can see we already have it and we can create um, different effects with this we can even invert it to get the outer part okay and this actually works for any pattern if I am to just go and add any other pattern let's see what we have this honey cup stuff so as it's a lower number I think it's much so as you can see we already have it let's set it something lower like five so you can see it can generate the geometry so let's flip it so we can so this um, blockiness um, to fix that you just need to add more subdivision and you're all good to go so let's go back to the checker pattern and let's add more subdivision uh, more tiles so we'll just set it back to 30 and let's say we are happy with this so we can just go to object um, where's that dude convert convert to mesh surface so right now I'm not going to go to the edit mode but if we look at the wire we can see it's a very dense geometry so one way to work with this you can go into your modifier and bring out the decimate and let's set the ratio to 0.1 so it's going to try to reduce the vertex count let's try 0.05 since this uh, is just uh, just planes we don't need much subdivision so as you can see we have very walkable geometry yeah as you can see it works so thank you guys for watching this tutorial i hope it was helpful or insightful um please like this video so that um youtube can suggest this channel to more viewers and if if you want to see more from me, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. So bye-bye for now. See you next time.